Hey guys, you're speaking to Jed from Disrupt Tutoring here to help you out with another maths problem. Today we're looking at triangles and specifically we're looking at different types of triangles and we're trying to see whether you know how to name triangles. So let's look at the question together. Study the triangles marked A, B, C and D. Complete the table below by filling in A, B, C or D. Right, so let's start off with equilateral triangle. Now what do we know about an equilateral triangle? Well, we know that an equilateral triangle is a triangle that has three sides that are the same length. Now, let's look at the triangles we have to choose from. If we look at A, what do we notice? We notice that two of the sides have been marked with a certain icon. And that icon indicates that those two sides are equal. But we don't see that same icon on the bottom of the triangle. And that means that it cannot be an equilateral triangle because this side is not the same as the other two sides. A triangle that has two sides that are the same is called an isosceles triangle. Moving on to B, we see that none of the sides are marked with any icons. That would mean that we can't assume that any of the sides are the same size. What we do notice though is there is a right angle, which is 90 degrees, but we'll come to that later. We move on to the third triangle and we see that there is an icon on all three sides, which means that all three sides are the same which means this is the equilateral triangle we're looking for. So we can write a C in that block and get our mark. Moving on to right angle triangle, again, the hints are in the name. If you know these words, the hints are in the name and you'll never get this wrong. We've already spoken about B and we saw that there is a right angle or a 90 degree angle in the triangle. So that would mean that the right angle triangle we're looking for is B. We move on now to our obtuse angle triangle. Now an obtuse angle is an angle that is greater than 90 degrees. So if we look at the angles in A, what do we notice? We notice that if we draw our right angle, that would be our right angle, that would be our right angle, and that would be our right angle. So what we notice is this angle is smaller than a right angle, which would mean it's acute, and therefore A cannot be the right answer. Likewise, we can see that that is smaller than 90 degrees, that is smaller than 90 degrees, and that is 90 degrees, and therefore that cannot be the right answer. Likewise, we can see that these are all acute angles as well, smaller than 90 degrees. We come to D, and D must be the right answer, but why is it the right answer? Do you see there is the right angle? If we look at the right angle, do we notice that, that angle is bigger than a right angle, and therefore our obtuse angle triangle is going to be D. Right guys, those are three easy marks for you and hopefully that helped and you have a better understanding of what types of triangles are out there. Uh, before I go, I'd like to say a special thank you to our sponsor who make these educational videos possible. Find out more about them in the description below. If you like this video, be sure to check out some more of them at our website or on YouTube. And if we haven't answered your question yet, remember you can send it to us either via WhatsApp or through our website, and we will respond with a personalized video, and we will even give you a shout out. Until the next time, guys, stay epic.